Hey everyone, I am back here today um, to do another video. Um, today I am going to do the review of the Petite Fendi Tajour. Um, I've been carrying this bag around for probably the last three weeks and I'm completely obsessed with it. I think it's one of the best bags that Fendi has done. Um, so this is the bag that I am going to review. Uh, this is the smaller size uh, Fendi Tajour. And um, first of all, the leather is absolutely the best. It's the sturdiest. Um, it's the most durable. It's made of Sapiano leather in the front. And then on the sides here, it is done in a calfskin. Um, it's a very soft calfskin, but it's still um, a durable bag. You can wear it three different ways. Um, you can do it handheld, um, and you can do it shoulder, and you can also do it as a crossbody. And the great thing about this bag is that it adjusts, so depending on your uh, height, you know, you can adjust it to whatever your need is. I am five two and a half, so any bag that fits me well on the shoulder is not too long is okay with me. Um, you also have four feet at the bottom, which is also done in a Sapiano leather uh, calfskin. Oh, no, not calfskin. It's Sapiano leather. It's not calfskin at all on the bottom, just on the side. And then it has this cute little um, charm here that uh, you can put your initials on. I uh, don't think I'm going to do that. That's just not my thing, but it's very cute, you know, a cute option for someone. And then I have my bad charms on here. I got these from Banana Republic. I just thought that it gave the bag a little something extra. And um, it has two big open compartments, and then it has a very deep uh, center pocket that zips you know, for more security. And let's see. It has an enamel strip here uh, where it says, see if I can zoom in. So it says Fendi. I still have my plastic on just because I try to keep my bag in the best condition as possible. And sometimes enamel does scratch. So I guess I probably need to test that out for you guys to see how um, durable and how well it sustains, you know, bumps and knots or whatever. But for right now, I still have the plastic on it. Um, it does have one snap closure. Let's see if I can get the snap here. To... So it snaps closed like that. Um, I would say this bag is about 10 inches across, maybe about 8 in height. And then the depth is maybe four or five inches. So it's it's a um, pretty nice um, size bag. It's not tiny at all. And what else can I say about this bag? I just love it. I think that Fendi has finally, you know, gotten it right. I don't think that this is a bag that's going to be too trendy. Um, just because you know, I think a lot of their other bags have been trendy, which is why, you know, you don't see them anymore, such as the Spy bag. I mean, it was a nice bag. It had a very nice leather, but the style just wasn't something that was going to sustain, you know, a classic uh, status. But um, I think this bag will. I think it will um, be around for a long time. Um, I did pay retail for this. I did not get it uh, pre-owned. I kind of uh, wish I had because the, um, the resale value is not that great for Fendi. So, But anyways, I mean, I still love it. I still use it practically every day. Um, this will be one that will stay in the collection um, for a very long time, if not permanently. So um, anyways, I think that's pretty much it. For the bag, if you're considering it, I think you need to go ahead and just bite the bullet and get it. Um, it's a good investment piece, and the price point is okay for what, you know, luxury, you know, prices are. So, you know, 
Um, but let me just show you how it looks on me, on my body type. I am five, uh, two and a half, not uh, petite or, you know, small girl by any means. So this is what it looks on, like on me. So it, it's pretty cute um, as a handheld and then as a shoulder. If I can. There we go. As a shoulder bag, get my clothes together here, and then as a crossbody. So it fits exactly where it needs to fit on the hip. And um, yeah, I absolutely love the bag. I think it's a good investment piece, and I think if you are thinking about getting it, you definitely um, should. If you have any questions about this bag, please let me know. Um, please comment, rate, subscribe. I am Modish Style on Instagram. That is M O D I S H S T Y L. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.